this is the other hive that I split in the early spring and uh, this hive's doing very well you can see a lot of bees around the opening and uh, that's a good sign this this hive really has increased in population they've had at least two to three brood cycles since I put the new queen in here but this is one this hive was split from the original uh, city bees hive that I got in Lowell uh, last year and uh, these are doing very well these uh, the populations good and uh, that was the other hive over there that I got the city bees from the one I just took care of this morning with the laying worker so I'm hoping both of these hives get into really you know high high levels of population and nectar and pollen pollen stored um, to make sure they're gonna make it through the winter it's a uh, you know the second week of July right now and um, these bees should be gathering as much pollen and nectar as they can to store away and uh, building comb drawing out honey honeycomb and making the, the hive larger so so far so good good activity uh, no problems with this one so far I was a little concerned that the queen was uh, young and hadn't been bred but now everything looks good we got great brood patterns I'm not gonna pull it apart right now because I did about a week ago and I don't like to mess with them too much if I don't have to but um, you know this is this is a good sign that we're seeing some increase in population good healthy hive going here let's hope it continues uh, bees honeybees are probably the toughest thing that I've had to deal with on the farm so far I mean we raise uh, beef cows we raise chickens uh, you know we raise goats um, and and this this has just been the greatest challenge just keeping these honeybees going you know they wintered over this year uh, the last couple of years I hadn't had much success with bees and it was gonna be the last year that I did it and finally seeing some level of success hopefully um, these, these will continue to grow these two hives so uh, we'll keep you posted in the meantime you know we'll keep these pollinators going they're really important to the food source and without these honeybees we won't have a food source or we'll we'll be doing what they do in China and that's they have people going around with tree branches dipping them in dipping the branches in uh, buckets of pollen and then sprinkling it on the blossoms in the spring that's very difficult and that's a job that these bees handle very well so we got to keep them healthy keep the pesticides out of the hives and keep these these bees doing their job so that's it for now I'll keep you posted on what's going on